So we're on our way to the Limerick and Claire, Claire <laughs> hurling match, the Munster final. Uh, Munster is um, one of four provinces in Ireland, for you, those of you who don't know, know. and sure uh, didn't our Lord Jesus Christ play a bit of hurling himself, himself and the twelve apostles, junior B team for Nazareth. <laughs> So with me today is Michael McMahon. He's one of the biggest con or the biggest players in Ireland. There's Michael there now. Alright. <laughs> so for people that don't know, how would you describe hurling to someone that hasn't a fucking clue what it is? So hurling would be a cross between murder and <laughs> hockey, basically. Played on a field. Pitch is 145 metres long by 90 metres wide. And the referee throws in the ball and he says, Now, have at it. And they kill each other. Good game, though. Um, it's on Sky Sports for any of you English guys that want to watch it. <laughs> so, keep an eye out for Sweet White Panda Television with good seats, kindly sponsored by my uncle. 15 aside, 35 minutes a half, and it's the fastest field game in the world. So you can see why Jesus Christ was fond of a bit of hurling. So the match is on in Torlis today, which is in Tipperary. Um, apparently it was founded up there in Hayes Hotel underneath a couch. <laughs> Founded, Perry, not found. It had to be found somewhere, of course. <laughs> <laughs> so where was it found? Up in Hayes. Hayes Hotel Square in Torlis, 1884. So the GA was founded there. Um, the GA takes in Gaelic football, hurling, shades, <laughs> or <whoops>. the road. <laughs> Sorry about that, lads. We had a uh, little fella holding the hair dryer. Anyway, where were we? Yes, I was talking about the Gaelic Athletic Association, the GA. That's what GA stands for, by the way. Gaelic Athletic. Association. Association. Yeah, Use your words. The committee. <laughs> uh, founded in 1884 in Torlis. So that's where the match is on today. And it was founded in a hotel, Hayes Hotel in Swear in Torlis. So the GA looks after hurling, football, handball. Um, there's lots of stuff that falls under the umbrella. So in 1884, a few of the boys got together and they said, fuck the English. We were going home playing hurling and football, and they founded the Gaelic Athletic Association. That's where it started. Under the couch. Under the couch, in, in, in the hotel in Torlis, yeah. Um, is that a two pound note, or is it the GAA? <laughs> it's, it's an amateur game, so um, they're basically professional sports person people. Um, sports they all, they all people. Sports, sports, sports people. They're, they're sports human beings that play sport. But they all have to get up for work in the morning as well. So they surely have tomorrow off. Well, the bank holiday, they'll be off tomorrow. The bank holiday, like, do you know what I mean? But other than that, they got that one right. The final on the bank holiday. Correct. Other than that, they all have to get up for work in the morning and possibly go train in our recovery session again tomorrow night. So there's fair credit to you, Tim Min. Fair play to you, lads. Anyway, that's our history on the GAA. Let's go. Jesus. And as you can see, we have a, a lovely grand day for us. This is actually a summer's day in Ireland. <laughs> and you go, please come to the sky. 
How far away are we? Dimco is over there. How far away? Um, no. So up here we have Timple Moor, where a man will go in looking for money and he'll come out looking for tax and insurance. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you never put the mattress in there, is it? Right? Yeah. 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 Who do you think is going to win today? Who do you think is going to win? Who do you think is going to win? Morgan is your show. Morgan is your show. Claire's going to win, obviously. Who's going to win? Tony Kelly, man the match. Claire, you're going to be my five. Who's the little baby you're holding? The little baby. What's the little baby? This is a prodigy. That Limerick What's aren't that? going to <laughs> hold the trophy in like. They're Limerick cans, that's the Limerick colours. You need Claire cans? Five years back. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> First up, we have the ladies playing some kamogi. They of course like playing with their balls too. That's the cup for today, a brand new cup. The meat mackey cup.
that is a hurling match. Um, Limerick won by a goal. Um, another thing as well is an important thing to point out that I think in attendance there was about 50,000 people and not one of those players are being paid um, to do that. So each one of them will be going back to their own jobs on Tuesday because it's the bank holiday here. So it must be the only sport in the world where at that size that the athletes aren't being paid. So we thought Strongman was bad. What do you reckon, Michael? Good day out now. Apart from the traffic, good way. Um, the two teams are meeting and it's in the final, awfully. Limerick out in one's time now in the semi final, and Clare have to play in two weeks' time in the quarter final. So I think they're on opposite sides of the draw, so that there's a good chance they'd meet in July again in Crow Park. Um, Limerick are just that small, bit more clinical when they had to be today through the walls and their backs again, their six backs again, the zero in the road stand. Um, very hard to get a goal off. Very tough defenders, all strong physical men. So. A good day out for Paddy's first hurling match. A grand day, a grand day. So if you like it, let me know what you think of it. Thank you very much and good day.